Hey there, and uh, today's video, I just want to help you get to get, get your life together in five minutes, and that is with one little premise that I have come up with, or came to my head today, it is called, a little leads to a lot. Um, so, it is what it is, it means that you do a little bit of something, and it'll lead to a lot of something. So examples I could think of off the top of my head were uh, junk food, so you never start eating a lot of junk food, it's always a little, always a little nibble. Once you get a taste for it, then all of a sudden it goes crazy and it explodes out of nowhere. Like then you get into a junk food eating problem, you know what I mean? Like now you're 20 to 30 or whatever and you eat entire family size bags of Doritos instead of just a little bit. Um, so it started from a little. Laziness is another example of this um, because you never start off being super lazy. You always start off like taking a little rest, taking a little time off, you know, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to get this task done. Maybe blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? It always starts with a little, but then over a long period of time, it becomes that. Um, and then another example, the one that should have been first probably is probably drugs. And that's why I feel a lot of people are afraid of weed or the weed cultures because it never starts off uh, as a little or a lot of like drugs. You always start off with a little bit. And they, that's why I think weed got the, uh, title for gateway drug when it should have been like cigarettes and alcohol and stuff like that because when I first started smoking cigarettes it was never a lot of cigarettes I actually stopped smoking cigarettes quite often but the more I would do it a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and all of a sudden I was smoking a pack and a half a day so why is this important to you um, the reason why this is important to you is because it is also true 100% for the good things too uh, so working out if you work out a little bit like say even you just go to the gym you just go to the gym and then go in there and maybe do one push-up, then you're more likely to do two push-ups, and then you're more likely to do three push-ups, and then you're more likely to do ten push-ups, and then you're more likely to do four more sets, etc. Uh, it would work with chores. I was just doing my laundry before, and I just um, went to go downstairs to get another shirt, and since I was down there, I was like, well, well, there's my laundry basket. I might as well put it up, like my clean laundry away because I hang it dry downstairs, and then I actually could take it upstairs. But then I was like, wait, I have a little bit of dirty clothes with me. I might as well put it in the uh, laundry or the washing machine, because there is a very small setting on my laundry machine. So I might as well just put a little bit of laundry detergent in there that started on small. And then when I took my laundry back upstairs, then I took it to my bedroom and I was like, oh look, there's a few shirts on the ground or a couple shirts and some underwear on the ground. I'll just pick that up and take it downstairs since the laundry machine's already started anyway. I'll just chuck it in there because what's, what's a few more? Um, so that's how that works. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, a, it's a snowball effect. Everything starts with one step. It's just so why don't we just do that? Uh, and it's it's mainly because of like what happens as a result. So it, it just makes like safer working out. This is a good one. Um, if you work out, go to the gym, get a trainer, and they they really ring you th they bring you through the ringer. Uh, then you're going to get really sore after your first day. So then when you wake up, you're sore, sore, sore. Your body's sending you all those messages saying like I like you know all the lactic acid builds up in your muscles, and, and then on microscopic level, those the lactic acids are little tiny crystals, so they're literally cutting your uh, muscles and making it like hurt. They're, it's acidic. It's acidic and they're like tiny little crystalline structures that like stab you so it hurts. Um, so it makes your first step harder to go back to the gym. And it makes it harder too because it's hard to see the result. But if you started with a little, um, now you can get a lot more. You know what I mean? Uh, if you just do too much, if this is why it's important also to do a little and to a lot. Because if you do a lot, like let's for instance for, say uh, the, the workout, you work overwork. And you'll find that limit yourself. Don't be afraid of overworking. If you overwork and then it makes you stop, all that does is make it so that you can, um, you know your limits, and then you can you can inch your way back there. Just reset. I always just reset. Start with a little, and then go back into it. Like that's that's a very effective strategy in putting your entire life together. If you just remember that uh, little premise, don't complicate things. Just start with a little. Name your objective. What is what is something very little you can go towards that. And then just start with a little bit. And if you just do a little bit every single day, it turns into a lot. You know, one day is 10 minutes, one day is five minutes, one day is 30 minutes. It all depends on your day. But if you just have a baseline a little bit that you're going to commit to something, you will turn your life around if you want it to. So that's it. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps somebody. Hope this reaches a couple years. And uh, I just hope you have a great day. So, uh, catch you later.